Welcome. Today I am going to quickly make some isopropyl nitrite. Alkyl nitrites have some neat properties. They were used in Woodwind's legendary quinine total synthesis and have some interesting biological activities as well. Warning, this is not medical advice, nor do I recommend you try anything I do, but please subscribe. Alkyl nitrites, inorganic nitrites, nitrates, and nitro compounds are used medicinally for various valid reasons, and sometimes abused. They all primarily act as modifiers of nitric oxide. The life-saving heart medication nitroglycerin, the impotence medication Viagra, and recreational poppers are all examples. Enough geek chatter, let's do some bench chemistry. My synthesis is the well-known method using sodium nitrite, hydrochloric acid, and an alcohol. I am not going to go into the stoichiometry, the reagent ratios are easily found elsewhere. The sodium nitrite I used was obtained as fish egg preservative, the hydrochloric acid is hardware store quality, and the isopropyl alcohol was drug store rubbing alcohol. I first prepared an ice cold solution of the isopropyl alcohol and hydrochloric acid and added it to an addition funnel. I also prepared a cold solution of sodium nitrite in water. The sodium nitrate didn't fully dissolve but that's okay, it will. Using the addition funnel I added the acidified alcohol mixture dropwise to the sodium nitrite solution. The reaction is exothermic, so cold, and slow is important. We can see the vigorous reaction. Once the addition was complete, and the reaction stopped, the mixture was put back in the addition funnel for cleanup. I waited until the layers separated, then discarded the lower water layer. I did a wash up by adding alkaline brine made with baking soda and table salt. I shook it up, let it settle again. The upper layer is noticeably clearer and we have a decent amount of yellow product. After that I once again discarded the lower layer. I put the isopropyl nitrite product into a tightly sealed container, protected it from light and with foil and stored it cold. The reason I was interested in isopropyl nitrite is not because I wanted to get high on poppers, it was because Nerdridge PhD recently made some for an upcoming unknown project. He used a more sophisticated synthesis that didn't require nitrites, I encourage you to watch his videos. Mad respect. Having some of this reagent on hand will perhaps allow me to recreate one of his next videos. Take care and stay curious friends.